I gotta tell you, this is stuff I will be wearing. It works. Don't judge it by its cost. It's pretty excellent. If you're in the market for some ballistic armor, you need to watch this video. This is the short version. I may do a longer, more detailed version. Not sure, but here we go with the bare bones version. <laughs> Announcing these pretty amazing, high value ballistic products from BowTacTactical.com. No, I am not associated with them. And no, they did not give them to me for review and they're not paying me. I went out and used Patreon money and purchased them by request from my viewers. Looking for low cost soft armor protection. First up is the KZ Ultra Low Profile Ballistic Plate Carrier. 30 bucks. Don't judge it by its price. It's pretty good. It's bare bones. There's no molly on it. It's just designed to carry some ballistic panels, but maybe that's what you need. Maybe that's all you need. 30 bucks? Dude, that is amazing. And this system can fit under clothing, like shirts, like jackets, maybe, I don't know, a coat. A suit coat, it works. Thousand denier fabric, so it's strong. I kind of wish they would have used 600 denier, but it works. It's still pretty lightweight for what it is. You have some hook panels right here for your patches. You can run your TMP patches right there if you want or whatever, if you're wearing it on the outside of your shirt. And I think it is designed for that, but it is so low profile, like I say, it can go under the shirt if you need it to. Seat belt webbing, nice, strong, simple snaps. Here's your pockets. Accommodate a 10 by 12 plate right here. Uh, I'm gonna go with a backpack cut. That's what they're calling them now. So it's just basically a square panel. I'll show it to you here in a second. And uh, here's how you insert it. Simple, just like you're used to with the stuff you have already, probably. Hopefully you have something already. Just Velcro, which I like. It's simple. There's no metal snaps, adding weight, bulk, complexity, and cost. It just works. Oh, and by the way, this is polyurethane coated thousand denier cordero nylon. This is pretty good stuff. The stitching looks good. Here's a soft ballistic panel. You'll have front and rear torso protection with this. Pretty excellent. The brand, of course, is Cly Zion. Zion, sorry, Botac Tactical. Made in the US. <laughs> Check that out. They're probably sewing it right there in Los Angeles. That's where Botac Tactical is. I've been purchasing from Botac forever. I mean, it goes back way before, way before TMP. I love the company. Low prices, great service. You can do returns with them if you don't like it. Botac is awesome. Again, non-sponsored review. This is, uh, again, the ultra low profile ballistic carrier is what they're calling it. Okay, let's look at the plate. This is the heart of the system. And it is a brand called Battle Steel. I don't know if it's just for Botac Tactical. I suspect it is that they've commissioned these ballistic panels to be produced for them, but I am very impressed with them. Very impressed. 16.6 .6 ounces for a 10 by 12 plate, level 3A protection. And as a reminder, that will stop nine millimeter plus P plus, 357, 44 Magnum, 357 SIG, and every other round that's of less power. These aren't rifle plates, it's soft armor pistol protection. Now what you won't get in this option is sternum protection. So we don't have dedicated sternum protection right here. So if you take a round, you might break a rib, it's gonna hurt. <laughs> it's gonna hurt a lot, but it will save your life. And these panels are actually higher tech than the stuff I've shown you before. Uh, here's my FAP FAPC plate I reviewed probably in 2009. 23 almost 24 ounces so you see the technology has improved although again we've had some advancements go with this stuff right here notice you have to orient that to the outside strike face obviously 6.5 millimeters in thickness that is amazing nij 0101.06 standards threat level 3a dude uh, i'm on board very affordable too these ones right now subject to change are about 40 bucks, 40 bucks per panel. So that's 40, 40 plus 30. That's 110 bucks for a threat level 3A 
soft armor system. There you go. Now, is it one of these full featured under the uniform shirt police vests? This is threat level 3A as well, providing much more protection. Tuck in tails, you know, a really nice carrier that breathes a sternum protective plate. No, it's not that. But generally, really comfortable vests like these are expensive. The good ones. I mean, there's some affordable vests out there for sure. I wouldn't wear them though. They're thick, they're goofy looking, they're uncomfortable, they're sweaty. Are they affordable? Yeah. Me, if I'm going with a full featured police vest, I'm gonna spend the money. I'm just gonna get something nice. Uh, this on the table, by the way, is not that. It's not a full featured vest, but it will save your freaking life. And it covers the important stuff right here, as you can see. Uh, you can put a shooter's cut panel in there. This is what their shooter's cut panel looks like. It's even lighter, 15.4 ounces, battle steel product. Uh, this is probably the Dyneema product, I think. I didn't really research that. 10 by 12 shooter's cut is this one. Uh, the only reason I would really go with this one and this carrier is if you plan on, I don't know, having a certain stance with your handgun where this cutout here will make it more comfortable. Okay, so totally worth it. Let me show you another system and this is a kind of a three for one video. And this is gonna carry the same uh, ballistic panels if you want it. This is a battle steel basic plate carrier in multicam. Botactactical.com, the cost is $40. If you wanna support my work and my purchasing of these products, use my links below. I'll make like 2.3 cents per click. It won't cost you anything, <laughs> nothing. Now this is multicam style fabric. This is not like genuine multicam. You can tell by looking at it, but it's close enough, works. And they've really got the stitching right on this one. The older vests I reviewed like Condor products usually had some jacked up webbing. It was misspaced, it was poorly stitched. The, the overall product was good, but the details were not executed well. Uh, by the way, I do think Condor, Condor has upped their game of late, so I think their newer products are much better. I'm talking about 10 years ago when I reviewed all that LBE. This is squared away. The molly spacing is good, stitching is great, all types of hook attachment here for name tapes, patches, your TMP patches. You got a drag loop right here. This is 600 denier fabric. I like this one a little bit better than that uh, basic low profile ballistic plate carrier. This is what it looks like when it's not loaded with a plate. Same buckle as we saw before. We do have some tab retentions here for extra length. Basic, it's just super basic. Really nice webbing on this. So I, I gotta say for 40 bucks, this is not cheap webbing. This is really high quality nylon webbing and I've ranted about it forever. Anytime I do an LBE review, I'll talk about the webbing, the stitching and the materials. If you don't believe me, dial up some from like 2011. You'll see me doing that. Uh, I would take these off. Okay, these, these are not necessary. I've always said that. These are like pads, you know. And why do they have that? They have it for older technology, like panels like this. So this is a seven pound, 14 ounce, old school, threat level three ballistic panel. So uh, it works, I mean, but it's freaking heavy. It'll stop at 762 by 51 full metal jacket, 147 grain at 2780 feet per second but it is uh, definitely siding on the side of firepower. But that's why they have these. So this is a leftover from older technology when you would really weight this down with two ceramic plates, ammunition, and other stuff. The newer technology, as I've shown you, is much lighter. It's gonna be less than half the weight. Here's one of those uh, DKX threat level three. I think this is threat level four, actually. Oh, I'm sorry, that other panel was threat level four. This is threat level three. Yeah, threat level three, DKX, Dyneema technology. It is thick. You know, it's kind of a thicker plate, but it floats. It can take multi hits. I reviewed these years ago. DKX, sadly, uh, kind of went out of business. It was absorbed by another entity. A lot of story behind that. I'm not gonna do it here. Uh, it's really sad what happened to the company. It didn't remain its own entity. It was absorbed. That's what happens when you, I don't know, get TMP uh, videos covering your product and you go into the, uh, the big leagues. Uh, the products are still out there. I think they're awesome. But this plate carrier will not fit this. 
because this is not a shooter's cut. So you can see the tapered pockets here. It will fit, well, the panels I just showed you, the shooter's cut right here. And I do have one in the front right here. Look at how thin, light. Again, these panels, the weight on them, so amazing, 15.4 ounces. I mean, goodness sakes, this weighs nothing with threat level 3A protection. Again, if you want to amp up your game and go to threat level 3, threat level 4, you're going to take some more bulk for sure and some more weight. It really is up to you. I recommend to my audience members, my pro-constitution law enforcement guys and gals, my awesome principled civilian sheepdogs, my security guards, my contractors, everybody who watches TMP, that generally you will be served well with threat level 3A protection. That is basically pistol protection. If you go into really bad places, armor up. Okay, if you're an entry team guy, armor up. If you're going into a high probability for armed conflict, uh, maybe it's time to put in some rifle plates into this carrier. But the carrier is the focus in this part of the review and it's amazing for 40 bucks. If there is a downside to this carrier, it might be its design is very trim, somewhat narrow. So we don't have a wide expanse of molly webbing to put a whole bunch of stuff. Maybe two M4 pouches, maybe two AK pouches, maybe a rifle pouch with some pistol ammo pouches here. You might be able to orient a pistol up here horizontally. You know I love that. Love it, still to this day, I love it. Really cool. Watch out for your interferences though when you do that if you're running a sling. It can be problematic, I've talked about that a lot. But overall, for a very clean, high speed, low cost, relatively high quality plate carrier, I'm on board. 40 bucks? I mean, that's cheap enough where you can buy multiples and keep them in storage if you need to arm up some folks, you know? To protect some folks, because what we're talking about here is defensive gear, right? Not dying when you get shot. <laughs> that's what we're talking about. For my officers, my uh, civilian sheepdogs, contractors, security guards, all the folks that might need this ballistic protection. Oh, and there's an interesting thing that has happened in the market. These ballistic panels have really increased in popularity, not amongst who you would think they'd be popular with. I'm talking they're popular for parents who are scared about mass shootings in schools. That's right. And so you have parents going out and buying panels like this and putting them in the day packs of their kids going to school. It's sad we have to do that. I know. Would I do it as a parent? Absolutely. If my kids are going to school, I'd buy a backpack panel like this, throw it in their backpack, 16 ounces, 40 bucks. The larger ones, like the 11 by 14s, currently are running like 55 bucks. You bet. Throw them in the backpack. It's, it's something. Something's better than nothing, and it's... Uh, Cheap, cheap, cheap insurance. Highly recommended. These are great products for the price. I don't really see any flaws in them as of yet. Maybe when I put them in long-term testing, something emerges. Uh, but you talk about affordable, effective ballistic protection from BowTacTactical.com. Uh, I'm on board. Have fun. See ya. Stay safe, too.